welcome to another vlog. This is a long one. So we're starting this vlog off with me just working on packaging up an order. This was a big order. I think they ordered like maybe five or six different colors of lip glosses. Don't forget to shop Basics of Beauty LLC. That is my business. I am adding some different products here very soon. We have some samples coming in. So I'm very excited to expand on what we have. So as I said, I'm just packaging up an order to drop off and I'm just um, showing you guys how I do that. So enjoy. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. <laughs> Good morning guys so today is Tuesday and I'm going to show you guys this wig that I ordered because I'm going to be doing it today I'm going to bleach some knots and all that good stuff so let's unbox this wig my hair is messed up I had to take that ponytail out last night because I went to the gym yesterday and my hair was just puffy so I washed it last night in the shower and I just oiled my scalp and I need to relax really badly but whatever let's just open the wig To open, lift tab, and pull quickly. What a tab. Y'all lying. Y'all lying. Y'all always lying. Okay, so this is how it comes. This is Allie Grace. Comes in a little bag. That's cute. Love that. Okay, and we have a wig cap. And I love these darker ones. I don't know, I just love those. And then, you know, a little instruction booklet and all that stuff. And here is the wig. This is a 26 inch highlight brown straight, 150 medium brown, 13 by five part wig. Ooh, this is pretty. My lord, this is so pretty. God, this hair is so silky when I tell you. It came out the thing silky. Mmm, that feels nice. But this is her. This is she. Ooh, not the baby hairs. Ooh, let me show you this. Girl, they already got the baby hairs busting. Busting out. This is going to be very, very cute. So this is her. Now I've never really done this light brown situation. So yeah, but I think it's gonna make me look cute. Very cute for summer. So let's go ahead and get started on her. She is cute. How many inches is this? Oh my god, this hair is so pretty. Like, legit pretty. Wow, okay. Oh, this is one of those situations. Okay, so if you look at the lace, you can only part it down the middle. Which, that's fine. That's fine, girl. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I get it. So they don't have to use that much lace. This lace is ugly, though. This lace is ugly as hell. It's got a, like, a yellow tint to it or something. Like, this is probably the type of lace that they don't like to use when you go get your hair done. But I'm about to do it myself, child, please. So we'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I'm just going to put some bleach and some 30 volume developer in my little, in my Tupperware bowl here, because I don't know where my mixing bowl is. So...
a word on no they're quite the thing to be real good. Let me rock the question. Like they should be easy to be mine. Okay, 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 okay. So, you guys, this hair, let's talk about it. So, this is totally my opinion. Um, wasn't paid to get the hair. Nobody sent me the hair. This is just something that I bought for myself because I wanted a new wig. So, um, it has, I guess, what do you call this? A T part or a U part? I don't, uh, I don't know what kind of wig this is, but... It just has the lace right here and around the perimeter. And um, for me, that works out pretty well. I like it. Um, it gives me like a closure type of feel, honestly, just because of the way um, the hair, you can't really pluck a lot because the hair, like the hairline, and I didn't cover my lace or anything like that because it just pretty much goes over it. But the way the tracks are laid, the tracks are like really close to the hairline so you can't really do like you can't really do a whole lot of plucking or else it's gonna they're gonna show so that's one thing so that's less maintenance so if you're into that okay cool um the wig was really easy to apply the only thing is this lace is like a weird funky gray color kind of color so I, I know a lot of the girls do that whole invisible lace situation which i have literally not seen one yet that is actually invisible not over here on my side i've never had one so this has that weird funky gray lace type of feel but if you cut it i mean you good you know if you do it right you good so all i used to apply this wig was got to be gel and the hairspray and some, a cool uh blow dryer and i like the length i like the softness of it if anything i have to say something about this hair the softness of it is really really nice no tangles or anything like that i didn't even really need a brush when i was going through and separating it to curl it i was doing it with my fingers like this hair is very 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 soft and nice um to me it gets a little frizzy up in here you know maybe it's the highlights not sure but um, I did do a rush job on my curl, so maybe if I take my time and go through it, that might be a different situation because when I took it out of the bag, it wasn't frizzy at all. So I bleached the knots and then I did go back in with some makeup. So I think it looks pretty straight. Yeah, I think it looks all right. Not a typical color that I would go for, so I just tried something different. I think it looks all right, though. So yeah, I would give this wig, if I had to rate this wig, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Only because of that lace situation. That was weird. Um, so yeah, check them out, Ally Grace, if you're into this wig. I will link it just because I want y'all to be able to find it if y'all want it. Yeah, y'all, I'm about to actually take Naja to dinner. Um, ready to get out of the house. I've been doing content all day. And I'm so kind of pissed because I recorded a reel. Actually, two of my reels got deleted today. So I was kind of upset about it, but it's okay because I've been filming a lot of reels. So it's okay. But I'm hungry. So we're about to go get some Japanese food uptown and just enjoy this beautiful day. So if this is the end of the vlog, then thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and I got my nails done. I think I showed y'all that though. This color is called Tickled Pink. And this is SNS Dip Powder. I don't have any lotion on. That's embarrassing. Yeah, SNS Dip Powder. And I do get tips, but that's only because my nails are thin and brittle and weak and whatever. And I can't get in with my girl because she's just too busy these days, so... Yeah, hopefully I can get in with her for my birthday. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Hey, you guys. Hey. Huh? <laughs> Say hey. Can you put the shirt down? Oh. <laughs> hey, y'all. So today is my, oh, what is today? Wednesday. Wednesday. And I'm out here at Zeta James. And I have a new friend. Her name's Courtney. Hi. She owns a clothing company. She's awesome. And I will link it. Um, I wear her pieces a lot, so y'all always see me in her stuff. Um, we're just out here having a little breakfast, and this is Jackson. 
So yeah, you guys, um, I just wanted to check in and say hi. I have something to tell you guys, so I'll chat with y'all a little bit later. Too many times. <laughs> Uh-oh, you gonna give me a show? You gonna get him a show? Give me a show! Say hi, Jack. He said cheese. Cheese. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hi. Say hello. What's poppin'? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this is a whole different day. I was trying to take myself out to breakfast, give us the views, sit outside. So I'm actually in the West End, so I'm walking to breakfast, but it ended up being closed. So really, this is just a pointless clip. <laughs> I want to say this is the same day. Yes, it is. I drove around for so long, but I ended up coming to Firebirds and getting some lunch. This is one of my favorite little spots. If you have Firebirds near you, check it out. It's so good. So, like, reasonably priced. Good drinks. Love it here. Hey, y'all. So, I'm outside today. Today's Sunday. We're out of town. We're about to go to Ink and Ivy and sit outside with kids. Um, Darren got the kids this weekend, so we're just spending a little bit of quality family time with the kids. I have my girl here. <laughs> and yeah, that's what we're doing. I didn't ever come back on and show you guys or tell you guys what I had to tell you guys, so I still have to tell y'all. But uh, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna give y'all a little pan of the city. Good morning, you guys. It's Monday. So, it's actually Monday, May 24th. And I'm just getting ready to make Naja some breakfast because she still has online school, even though she took her EOGs last week. And this is the time where I'm going to catch you guys up on everything that's been going on in my life. So, I typically always make her some eggs and some turkey bacon. And I use my grill. So, yeah, you guys. It has been so much going on. Where do I even start? Well, first thing is... So I had like this crazy experience. I had went and got a ultrasound done because I told y'all that my doctor recommended that I get an ultrasound just because I've been having heavy bleeding during my periods and with me being on birth control and with me have already getting already have gotten the fibroid removed last year this time I should not still be having these heavy periods so she was like I recommend that you go get an ultrasound so I did so um in the ultrasound this was like this was last week and I'm wearing this heavy I'm about to go to the gym but in the ultrasound, I don't know if you guys know, but the ultrasound tech is not supposed to give you any feedback about what she finds or what she sees. That is for the doctor to do with the scans. 
So while I was in there, she was like kind of catching up with me and was like, okay, so you were here last year for the same thing. And I'm like, yeah. And she was asking me like, how many did they remove? And I was like, that's the thing, I don't know. So I've been having heavy bleeding. So I don't know if there's more growths or what's going on. So she's like, okay. So first they do a scan of your belly. So when she's doing the scan of my belly, she's like, um you you got surgery and i was like yeah and i told her what surgery i got i got a hysteroscopic myomectomy and for my uterine fibroids and she was like oh well there's one in here and i was like what you, there's one in there she's like oh this little guy he's so tiny that's probably why they left him in here and i was like okay that made me a little cautious but i'm like i'm not gonna get nervous because i can get really 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 worked up and I was already on my period during the scan. So I didn't want to start like bleeding crazy. Because when I get stressed out, my period goes berserk. So I was just like, okay, it's small. Maybe they just left it there. But then I started to think, I don't know. Did they leave it there or is it something new? <clears throat> so I started to kind of be like, hmm. So then she... We um we get through with the scan on top, and mind you, my bladder is full, full. Like I drank a half of one of my oh, I drank half of this. So like somewhere around he, from here down, my bladder was that full. And she was like, "Oh my god, your bladder is so full. Did you how much did you drink?" And it's crazy because one time I've gotten this done before. And they literally told me that my bladder wasn't full enough, so I had to sit there, make my bladder fuller while I still had to pee. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, I'm not trying to have that happen today. So then she goes inside with the probe, and she's like, oh. As soon as she gets in there, she goes, oh, are you sure they removed them? Are you sure they did the surgery and removed them? And I'm like, no, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. So I'm thinking that can't be a good sign for hell. So she's like, oh. And so she's moving around, moving around. She's like, oh, you know what? Maybe they just cut them off. Maybe they burned them off. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, your guess is as good as mine, babe. So then she's like, now I'm getting irritated. <laughs> and then she's like, um. Oh my goodness. She's like making all these noises. She's like, oh, bear with me. Oh. She's doing all the typing or whatever. When they start doing all that typing, you already know what's up. Like, you already know they done found some shit. And she's like, okay, I gotta measure these and all this stuff. And I'm like, girl. So I asked her, I said, are you finding them or what? And she's like, hey. she's like, oh, well, I see a tiny one. I see two tiny ones. And I'm like, okay, so she's like, um, she's in there for so long. She's in there for mad long. She's like acting like she can't find whatever she's looking for, girl. And then she was like, um, I, I gotta find your right ovary. It's pushed down so far. The fibroids probably pushed it down that far. And I'm like, okay. And then she's like, um. I gotta get blood flow to it, ah, all this stuff. So finally, after all that time, she's like, okay, go ahead and um, go back in the bathroom and put your clothes back on, but I wanna go back on top so that I can see if I can get the blood flow to your right ovary. And I'm like, yo, can I pee? She's like, oh no, I need a full, a full bladder. So it's been like 30 minutes by this point and she's been digging around, making my bladder. She said she could see the urine jets just shooting because I had to pee so bad. And so I was like, word, okay, fine. She said, cause I know the doctor's gonna want it. And I'm like, all right. So I go back in, change my clothes back on. She goes back on top with the, uh, the machine or whatever on my stomach and then she can't find it. She can't get the sound or whatever for the blood flow. So she just says, okay, forget it. I'll just tell her I couldn't get it. So when, the, when all was said and done, 
when we were all finished, she goes, okay, now just wait right here. I'm going to get the doctor in case she wants to ask any more questions. I have never had all of this. I have never, ever had all of this happen while I was getting a freaking ultrasound for uterine fibroids, ever. So I was like, okay. So she comes back in. Oh, I couldn't get her. You're free to go. Like, okay. So after that was all said and done, I actually called my mom and I was like, I just think that this everything that just happened in there was totally off weird she got me feeling some type of way she got me wondering if i have freaking fibroids she got me wondering so my mom was like go back in there and ask them to speak to somebody about it so i go back in there and the only person in there now mind you they got the clothes at this point the only person in there is the girl at the desk and i'm telling her what happened because she wants me to explain it to her a receptionist and i'm like all right whatever so i told her what happened she's like oh my gosh so she just left you wondering, huh? And I said, yeah. And I said, I want to talk to somebody about that because I don't want to be going home wondering if I have freaking new growths or not. And she goes, oh, okay. So do you want the ultrasound text phone number? No. She looks in the computer and she's like, oh, you just got it done. The scans are not back yet. All nasty. I'm like, I know the scans are not back yet. That's not what I'm referring to. I don't want somebody to stop what they're doing right now and look at the scans and give me an explanation that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is i wanted to speak to either somebody that's over the department or a patient advocate or something someone because that was not the right procedure and protocol for no day going ultrasound i'm just telling you like that's just like bruh that just wasn't the correct procedure or protocol so she wasn't getting that, so she was just sitting there looking crazy, and I just said, never mind, I'm out. So after that, I wrote them on the portal. It's a portal where you can write your doctor, and basically a nurse will write you back, and you know they'll call you with either a follow-up appointment or whatever. So... I explained the situation on the portal and they said that they were going to have somebody call me back. So I get a message back on the portal that they recommend that I see gynecology, basically see women's health. And I'm like, okay. So still have not gotten any type of call back in regards to what was on the scans. And so now I went above everybody and I called my surgeon. I called my surgeon that did my surgery last year. She works at a different facility that's about 40 minutes away. Um, but I called and, and found a way to speak to her nurse and get in for an appointment today. Because y'all playing. Y'all playing too much. Oh, and I forgot to mention the little ultrasound tag. She told me I had an ovarian cyst. Yep. She said, oh, there's a cyst. There's a cyst on that one. And I said, oh, my God. So, anyways, I'm going to see the lady that actually removed my fibroids. Actually was the one who was my surgeon. She's amazing. And um, I'm sure they'll probably want to go up in there with the speculum and all that craziness. But better than just sitting around not knowing what the hell is going on. I don't have any more paper towels. Oh, I love that for me. I think I'm just sitting around not knowing what's going on. Or maybe she can actually get the scans and look at them herself because she's just amazing. So that's happening today at two o'clock. Besides that, I've been hanging out with Darren and his kids. So all the kids have been together and we've been at his house. We went out yesterday. That's probably why you notice I'm much, much darker. I have a tan. I have a tan. We went out yesterday. We went to Ink and Ivy with the dog and the kids. And it was excruciatingly hot. And we had to sit in the sun. And did not love that. But. Mm -hmm. And then what else? <laughs> I feel like there's so much we have to catch up on. Because I literally have not wanted to film. I haven't been to the gym. I'm actually about to go to the gym. Um, yeah, I'm going to fill you guys in on some more stuff in a little bit. I got to show y'all some new stuff I got from Target. So I'm going to finish up this breakfast. I'm going to make me a smoothie. And then um, we'll finish our conversation. Because the camera's not eating anyway.
all right y'all so i'm back i'm back and i'm sitting by the window so we can have some sunlight you know what hold on okay so yeah let me catch y'all up so now um let me catch y'all up let me catch y'all up oh okay so i deleted my instagram and i want to talk about that for a little bit i deleted my instagram because and i had been thinking about it for a while at least a month and i had said something to darren about it i said something to one of my homegirls about it that does youtube and instagram as well and they was both like mm, you know whatever so i just relied on my own feelings about it and i said you know what i'm done with this page I'm done with that page because I've had that page since I was literally in my mid-20s. Y'all know I'm about to turn 35. If you didn't know, now you know. I'm about to turn 35 in June and I don't feel connected with the page. I don't feel like anything that I try to convey, it comes across the way in which I want to convey it due to the audience. I felt like I wanted to try to get more women uh, followers, but it's just the process is so annoying because it's like it'll be like women subs women followers and then somebody will repost me on their page and then all the men from their page will start coming to my page and it's like okay no it's like mm, i don't know what it is but even if i'm posting like stuff of talking about men like talking about what women should and should not accept like they still be on there and i'm like yo I can't so it was that and then it was I just didn't feel connected to the page it's like I had 5,800 followers on there at one point I had hit 6k and then something happened and I lost a bunch of followers overnight it was so funny but it wasn't so much the numbers like yes eventually I want to reach a lot of people because I feel like I do have a message and I just didn't feel like that page was going to get me there I just felt like the page was just like I didn't even want to post a picture on the page it got to the point where I started to feel really ashamed like just shameful of the person that I am now compared to who I used to be it's like night and day you know what I'm saying it's just like I don't I just felt very judged when I would post a picture and I don't know if any of you have felt that at all maybe not because I think most of the people on my YouTube just you're just on YouTube or you just look at Instagram every now and then. But I was somebody that was super into Instagram and was on there every day for several hours a day. So, um, <clears throat> because people have found success on Instagram as well as all the other social media platforms. So, long story short, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. All I have is Basics of Beauty LLC, which is my lip gloss page. And we will be adding, we will be adding different products to the the page and it will grow and expand but right now we have lip glosses and that is the only instagram that i have and i let it be known on my other instagram before i deleted it this instagram that i have is for business purposes only so i also have tiktok you guys if you guys want to follow me on tiktok i'll go i'll put a screenshot of it on here i like tiktok because i can say what i want to truly say on tiktok i like it and then, and then the last thing about my Instagram was I just really felt like, and this could just be my feelings, I'm not sure, but people were watching my story, every story I posted, yet they never had any input into anything that I was talking about because I would do polls, I would do different things because I wanted to gauge my audience, I wanted to see who's actually following me what do they need from me you know what i'm saying because i'm not posting bad batty pictures anymore like i'm actually getting ready to you know what i'm saying post some content content and i just felt like people were just there to watch just to lurk just to see what i'm doing and that's not what i want i just there's people there that i don't want to even speak to i don't even care for <laughs> and it's just like no sis no you do not have access to me and i think that it was just very freeing for me to do that and i just feel i felt good about it i don't feel like i'm missing out on anything and so i'm just done with it so if someone wants to reach out to me and if they have my number that's one thing but just sitting and lurking on my social media all day no ma'am
Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you what I got from Target. I've been holding on to this for over a week. So if they don't have it in the store anymore, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I have is this big, large silver stainless steel cooking spoon. And this goes with my aesthetic. I have some of these type of utensils that we got from Crate and Barrel. So I just thought this would be really good because I actually need this one uh, to go ahead and get this so I got that and it is dishwasher safe and they just doing school work in the next room so can't be too loud and that spoon was six dollars and then I have all of these cool cups and bowls and plates so I have these two pink cups and these are just drinking cups they're plastic and these are dishwasher safe and microwave safe for reheat only. How are they gonna know? Anyway, so they're calling it a tumbler. And I believe these were a dollar each, probably. Uh, yeah, they are. Oh no, 50 cents each. 50 cents for each of these. And then I have these two tumblers, and they are blue. 50 cents each. I've been holding on to these for so long, literally, because I wasn't vlogging. Uh, I have two bowls. These are like rose colored bowls, and they are 50 cents each. Same thing, these are just a lighter pink. Perfect for cereal, noodles, snacks. Then I have these two plates. And these are, I think you can use these for a lot of different things. I think you can use these for trinkets. They're big, but I feel like you can use them for more than one purpose. Definitely, you don't have to eat off them if you don't want to. Uh, but these were 50 cents each. And then I have this big platter. And the platter, I want to say it was 50 cents, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. It was either 50 cents or a dollar. So that's the stuff I got from Target. Cute, right? Anyways, y'all, so... I'm about to finish my smoothie and then go to the gym. This is my breakfast, you guys. Just some egg whites and spinach. I already ate two pieces of turkey bacon and I have some cherry vanilla tea. So I'm going to eat this real quick and talk to my homegirl. Today is Tuesday and we are um, going to just unwind, not unwind, but start our day with some tea. I made some tea and this tea is blackberry, cherry, and cherry vanilla. I got it from Amazon. And all I add to it is lemon and agave. And then I'm going to start on chapter i am on chapter hmm what chapter am i on i'm reading atomic habits but i'm on chapter three 
and I've really been enjoying this book. It's really just basically talking about building better habits and how to make small changes and get remarkable results. So that's what I've been reading. And I'm going to, after that, I'm going to look at some more dresses because my birthday is coming up quick. Uh, if you don't know, my birthday is June 9th. And yes, I'm a Gemini, Team Gemini. But I need to finish finding a dress. I need to get some hair so that I can get my sew in. I've already got my appointments for my lashes, hair, and nails. I'm going to do my own makeup. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So right now, I'm just starting my day with a little bit of tea and a good read. And I may go out later because I need to go to Home Depot, get some wasp spray, girl. It's wasp all on my little balcony don't don't like that i also need to get some paper towels i can get that from home depot as well some toilet tissue and i'm supposed to go to a friend's house so that we could chat courtney and we will see where the rest of the day takes us but for right now i'm going to read some of my book <laughs> Lord for this food. Amen. Hey y'all, what's up? So today is uh, Wednesday. Um, y'all, I've been through so much these last couple of days. So let's talk. So Darren and I are no longer together. It's not a whole long story to tell. We're no longer together. I went back to the doctor. I don't remember if I told y'all or not, but I went back to the doctor. Um, I actually got with the doctor that did my surgery last year to remove my fibroids. And she actually did an exam and um, found fibroids on my lining of my uterus. So there's no fibroids in my uterus. That one was removed. There's nothing in there, but they are. there are multiple of them in the lining of my uterus which is
causing the heavy bleeding during my periods even though I'm on birth control which was supposed to control the bleeding so there were options of course and the least option the option that most black women have to go through and the surgery and the hysterectomy she I just want to be clear with you guys she is a very good doctor she is very progressive she did not even she don't she did not even give me the impression that she wanted that to be something like she said if you had any inkling before you came in here that you even even the tiniest little inkling that you ever wanted to have kids then that is not the option and she was very very sincere about it so I want to make that clear because I know a lot of times there is a stigma that doctors tend to push hysterectomies on black women and this is something that's been going on for years and years and years and that's not the case here <clears throat> she offered um, first she wants to get the bleeding under control so that my anemia can be under control in which we're going to do the Nuvering. So we're going to try that. She wanted me to try the Mirena and I told her absolutely not and that was that. And she said okay. She's very pro my choice. And so uh, she said, let's try the Nuvering, and there was something else she suggested, or to try cycling birth control pills. That's the first birth control that I was ever on in my life, and I just said, let's try the Nuvering, and she said, okay, I think you're going to like that. So we're going to do the Nuvering, and we're also going to do iron and vitamin C. So that is the course of action right now, however... I will have to get the surgery eventually, uh, you know, because it's in my bloodline, it's in my family, and yeah, so that appointment was difficult, however, it was what it was because, you know, I had the ultrasound, and the ultrasound tech was being very mouthy about whatever she thought she was seeing in my scans and whatnot and she's not supposed to do that the doctor is supposed to look at the scans and tell me what's going on so i yeah i ended up taking the ball taking matters into my own hands and calling my surgeon personally and going and driving out to see her so that was that that was an emotional day then uh as i said darren and i have broken up for good and there was an issue I also had to deal with regarding my daughter. The two are not correlated <laughs> at all. It's, you know, how it is when kids are being kids and they happen to make friends that just are not the best people for them to be around. And kids are impressionable. And so that had to be corrected. So, uh, right now, I've been going through the motions. I feel like I'm at a place where, you know, as women, we want to people please, in a sense. And I do have trauma. What in default? Okay, I'm back. So, really quickly, to sum everything up. I've been going through a lot, y'all, a lot. And I think it's, I know it's for a reason. It's like, like I said before in a video a while back, like just being on a spiritual journey, like I didn't choose a spiritual journey, it chose me. So like you'll find that when things are not aligning with what you're supposed to be doing, like you gotta start looking first internally and then you start removing things that just don't serve you and you know it just sucks that it took me so long to realize certain things but the way this whole thing works is like I'm, I think things will keep coming up in different forms in different ways maybe you'll get sick 
you know, relationships, just roadblock, 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 just to be like, do you really want this? Like, how bad do you really want? What are you willing to give up type of deal? And it's like sometimes as women, like I was saying, we are people pleasers. That is how we are. We, we have been conditioned to be. And it's like, uh, I just want to be myself. You know, anyone can tell you that they accept you for who you are and da 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 da. But the truth is, I'm an opinionated person, always have been. If you ask me my opinion, I'm going to tell you the truth. You know, if you can't handle it, don't ask me. And then if you're not being your authentic self and sticking to your core values, it's not going to, it's going to translate and it's going to be like, oh, there's just something, there's just something that's not aligning. I feel like I need to do more internal work. Be very clear about my boundaries, my non-negotiables, and anything that doesn't show up as what I expect, what I deserve. I am tired of being told I can't be around people that don't think like me. That's one. I have up until now been around people that don't think the way I think and maybe they dealt with trauma as well and so now I have trauma someone else has trauma and then we're coming together trying to heal each other it don't work it does not work and I'm at a point where I don't want to put a band-aid on things I don't want to wade in oh the potential the this the that I can't do it like I've been through too much and from a young age and those are things that I chose in my life for whatever reason because I have trauma because I was raised by the parents I was raised by my thought process is different and the things I saw growing up, everything attributes to who we are in our adult form. And I have a lot of learning to do, a lot of growing to do. And I'm just not in a place where I want to be. There are certain things in my life that I want and I'm not gonna let anything stop it. So naysayers, people who don't think like me, people who, I just don't, I just can't have it. You can feel when someone is trying to morph into the person you want them to be, and maybe they just haven't gone through enough yet to be on the same journey and thought process as you. And you know, I can give credit for a person trying, I can, but the fact remains, the facts remain that I still know that I'm not accepting what I should be. And there are certain things that you just don't do when you want to be respected and you just won't do certain things because you won't want to jeopardize what you have. And I put in a lot of personal work and a lot of personal growth and a lot of sacrifices to have even what I have. And I'm not going to discredit myself anymore and I'm not going to feel sorry for people anymore because no, I don't have time for that. So if anything, I'm going to use my voice and I'm going to not hold back things and I'm going to be my creative self and I'm going to step into the person the woman that I am meant to be 
and I don't care about how anybody feels about that because I did not go out and seek out people to be in my life. The people that are in my life are in my life for a reason. I am no longer allowing moochers, people that are close-minded, people that don't know what they want out of life, people that cannot contribute to my life. I, I can't allow any of these roadblocks in my life. I cannot afford to. So that's where I'm at. And yes, I wanted to share that. I feel like the version of me that y'all knew, you're gonna see a different version. And I feel like if people are invested in me and they want to keep up with me, but yet they don't mean me any good or they are only doing it for their own benefit to get something from me, it's going to be kind of hard to do it. <laughs> but for those people who are here because you need what I have to give, it's different. You're going to take what I have to give and you're going to use it and you're going to apply it and you're going to do amazing. And it's just different. It's a fine line and there's not a whole lot that I need to say about it. I realize that I am living out my childhood now as an adult and I'm at a space where everything that was kind of closed off to me or I wasn't treated well, I wasn't listened to, people told me I was too dramatic, people told me, oh, you'll be fine, oh, the adults didn't like me just off the strength of who I was, lifestyle changes. If you don't love all of me, that's fine. I'm doing me. And I can't be controlled, not with objects, not with, you know, you can't make me feel bad because you bought something for me we are we are we have our own minds and i am protected so that's just it <laughs> um am i afraid A little anxious but I'm letting go and I'm just gonna just gonna be I'm just gonna flourish and so that's where I'm at I don't have space and I don't have room for anything that's not good and you know what else that also has to do with not thinking highly enough of myself from my inner core out that has to do a lot with the the people places and things that i've chosen for myself is i've had limiting beliefs so even when i thought i was thinking big from a young age a lot of my thoughts and a lot of my ideas were shut down and so as most trauma survivors go through life they will choose people that they can heal because now we start overcompensating now we start people pleasing now we start trying to fit in somewhere because the the people that we really aspire to be like we have no skills we have no idea how to connect with them or not see them as a threat perhaps but those are the very people that we need to be aligning with we need to use our discernment and it's hard for me it was hard because i just kept on 
redirecting myself to what was oh it's a little bit better than what i received before but you should be thinking here i should have been thinking here but yet you have people that are telling you oh well so and so does this for you so and so does that for you oh like almost like pushing on to you like well that's good enough for who no i will sit my ass down before i go you know what i mean it's just don't take just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit no be strong and just wait until the whole enchilada is there for you and it will flow and it will be easy and i'm talking to myself right now it will be easy and it will just flow and it will just a person will just know what you need and it won't feel like work because people will have matured people will will have had experiences where they'll see oh that didn't work that didn't work that didn't work it will feel natural it won't feel like a tug of war so that's me taking accountability i have to i'm at a place now where heck i have a spiritual guide i have i have downloads i have things coming to me where i'm fine-tuning my vision and my discernment and i shouldn't be closed off i do know that but i should also slow down so that i can just slow down so that's where i'm at and I just wanted to share that. I hope it made sense. I appreciate my subscribers, my supporters, people that have been here from a long, 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 long time ago, from a long time ago. This is a journey and you're growing with me and that's pretty cool. So I appreciate you guys. I think the content will be much different and much better and I'm just loving on me so I want to send you guys love and light and yeah all right let's go through what I got from Sephora <laughs> so actually this these things were a gift from Darren uh, after we found out the news about what the future holds for my body he wanted to make me feel better I guess and got me some stuff so I'm gonna show you guys the stuff and you know another thing that I want to point out is women I don't want to taint you and I don't want you to feel like you can't have a partner but I know there are men out there who will stick with you no matter what through health concerns and different things but I'm learning that men don't, the men I've been around, don't necessarily know how to nurture me when it comes to me and when I'm weak and when I need help and when I'm going through something. Gifts are nice, but people that have trauma don't necessarily know how to be emotionally available. And I'm not going to blame someone for that. I just, it's something I learned. Um, there was a specific reaction to the news. And I said, wow. Imagine someone not saying they don't want to be with you. Not saying they won't be there for you. But just feeling like a person kind of sees you as damaged goods. Interesting, but... That's life and people have to do what they have to do. So let's talk about this stuff that I got from Sephora. All right, so here we have the Way Thick Hair Conditioner, okay? Love, 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 love this stuff. This stuff makes your hair so slippery. It's so good. Uh, this is a moisture rich conditioner and it fights frizz and nourishes dry thick hair it has avocado oil marshmallow root shea butter 
smooths the strands it's just i really love this kind of pricey but i definitely feel like it's worth it then i got the thick hair shampoo i've never used the thick hair shampoo i've never used the shampoo from this brand at all but i had to go back and buy this i actually went back today and bought this with my own money because i thought that i got the shampoo but i grabbed another conditioner but it's so good I'm, I'm gonna keep it and i just went and got the shampoo so that i could have you know the same type of the same brand so we'll see how these two work together i should get a round brush and blow my hair out girl so i also got this smashbox full exposure mascara so this will be my first time trying this one i'll let y'all know how i like it this what this is jet black i got the dr dennis gross alpha beta extra strength daily peel love 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 these shout out to kyra aminique she put me on these are literally bomb i was using the orange box the first couple of times i used it just because i didn't know how it was gonna react with my skin and i actually went up to the extra strength and totally fine with it and i have sensitive skin i also got this moroccan oil all-in-one leave-in conditioner for hydration never tried it before but i do love the Mor the moroccan oil brand and it's so crazy when i was a little girl i used to see this brand all the time in magazines and it used to just be that it brand that the models would use for effortless hair and now i'm grown it's like hey so i also got the rare beauty liquid touch corrector in 370n this is the concealer so this is a re-up i actually already had this concealer and have been using it for a while and i was out so that's a re-up and when i went back today I actually got my birthday gift, which is the Moroccan Oil Hydrating Styling Cream, Moroccan Oil Treatment, and Moroccan Oil Body Night Body Serum. So I'm going to be trying out all of these beautiful little gems. And I got some samples. So I have a Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer sample. I have the Laneige Circa Sleeping Mask. I got two of those. Okay, so guys, that's my little Sephora haul. I done talked y'all heads off. And that is the update with my life. Yes, child. So I'm going to end the video here because that was a lot. And I don't need sympathy. I don't. I don't. I... And learning and I've learned and so that's it thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon bye